Hello, my fellow grocery addict. It's Jackie. It is another Sunday night, and I'm at Aldi. I normally come Monday mornings. However, my son wanted to come with me. He worked hard on sorting pop cans, and he wants to come return them. And if he does the work, who gets the money? Me. Yes, so he wanted to come to Aldi with me. Obviously, he can't when he's at school, so we're doing grocery shopping Sunday night so he can get some pop can money. Let's get into the store, see what I'm getting, and don't forget, at the end, you can see my weekly meal plan. Okay, Kel, go ahead and pick out your Cheez-Its. Okay, Kel's picking white Cheez-Its for his lunches. $3.89 for the box. I had dried strawberries on the list again. They're still out. I wanted the Oreos, the Aldi Oreos, but they're out still. I am getting two things of flatbread at $3.59 a piece to make pizzas with on Friday. Italian bread to make homemade garlic bread, $3.69. Blueberries have been so good and really well priced, so I'm going to get two of these, $1.99. Snap peas for the kids' lunches, $2.39. Cauliflower, $3.39. I want a big guy. Most bang for my buck, $3.39. They're completely out of carrots. They are like that pretty much every week, um, but I'm going to get Romaine at $3.29. 2% milk, $2.77. We have new science here, that's cool. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm sure it's not $2.65, that's wrong, but I need heavy cream. I am getting this lemonade to mix with my Element at home. Element is an electrolyte and they are sponsoring this video. Element has a science-backed ratio of 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. They don't have any junk, sugar, fillers, nothing. It tastes delicious without the BS. Element is formulated to give everyone their electrolyte needs, everyone from people like me, a stay-at-home mom and content creator, all the way up to Olympic athletes. I absolutely love including electrolyte as part of my fasting regimen. It helps me to feel really good, especially while I'm fasting, and for that, I'm really grateful, and that's why I love to share them with you guys. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single-serve packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash fastingfoodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fastingfoodie. Yellow onions, $1.89, just running low. I tried to get away from getting chocolate milk, but when you bring a six-year-old with you, he wants it, $1.66. I'm making tomato soup, so I need to get six cans of the basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. I love it, and we can eat it multiple nights, 85 cents. We are running low on vinegar. I use it for a lot of cleaning, cleaning produce, $2.99. Getting olives for $1.59 and artichokes for $2.59 for flatbread pizzas. We love this maple syrup and we're just running low. $6.49. Okay, he did it again. He wants brown sugar, cinnamon pop tarts, $1.78. Pacific Cooler Capri Suns for lunches, $3. Oh, they have the ramen bowls back again with chopsticks, canisters. I love these little serving bowls. Those are so cute. They have different sizes. Love that print. Olive wood. Very pretty. Different mats. Oh, I like these indoor outdoor weaved runners. $14.99. Welcome ish. Depends on who you are and how long you stay. Oh, that's funny. Jean jackets, different boots. Laundry, laundry, laundry. It's always funny to me when you can see a big theme, you think, okay, what made la what made Aldi decide that it's laundry week? I don't know. We do it all year round. Okay, if you've never bought these before, they're amazing. I don't need more, but they're really comfortable. Oh, they're almost out of the football table wear. I like these ones. And 
still lots of leftovers and clearance items. I'm running low on sandwich bags, gonna refill my drawer 219. I swear sometimes I feel like Aldi is against me. They don't have cottage cheese either. Bummer. But they do have butter. Always need butter. $3.98. I need vanilla pudding for when I can make dirt cake. 79 cents. I don't remember if I need one or two, so I'm gonna get two of them just in case. Marinara, and I'll season it for our pizza sauce, $1.45. Well, I'm not surprised they have none of my waters. 385, I'm gonna dig for a lemon here. I need mats for pizza at 379. And cheddar for grilled cheese, $1.89. They also have these ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kel wants these cheese sticks, 309. They have a heart-shaped cheese pizza, a pizza cookie, cheesecakes, and cheeses. I'm not getting any of it, but it's very beautiful. I'm getting breakfast blend coffee, 489. I'm gonna get hot cocoa mix with the marshmallows on sale for $1.25. Yeah, we're not gonna get that many though. Dino buddies, you want those? You do? Dino chicken nuggets? I love them. Okay, $9.99. These, we have room in our freezer, so I'm gonna get them. Can you hold them? Can I try one tonight? You wanna try everything tonight. The chicken taquitos look good. German potatoes. This looks good. Mini appetizer sampler. Vegetable spring rolls, pot stickers, and chicken bites, $10.49 and all their wontons, which I love these things. I have this in bulk from Costco, but we love edamame, steamed, really good. Don't see it here often. So you're definitely feeling Valentine's Day vibes still in this aisle. It's all red, pinks, and yummy things. They still have those sweaters and rugs. I think this is super cute. This would be a fun wedding or shower gift. Cast iron dessert for two. Heat wrap, random acts of kindness kit, different Valentine's Day Play Doh, different athletic bras, lots of cards. These are cute Valentine's Day cards, candles. Okay, so last week I was so excited to find the banana caramel that I didn't even tell you guys the other flavors. So this was so good. I still have a lot of it left, but I'm getting more before they run out. It's $2.99, but they have the banana caramel. I loved it. My daughter loved it too. They have dark chocolate, and then they also have a salted caramel. They're like a dessert sauce. Very good. Very good on ice cream or just by the spoonful. I need Cool Whip for my dirt cake, 97 cents. They finally have broccoli again, so I'm gonna get three of them before they disappear on me, 97 cents. And then we're also having green beans for one night this week, 87 cents. Those are I love these new bags, so cute. Okay, and this all set me back, 111.53. Oh. Yep. Push it in. Okay, so we got home immediately after getting groceries. Cal has chocolate milk, dino nuggets, and cheese stick. You had to try it all, right? Okay, here's our meal plan for the week. This was leftover from last week, chicken brian, homemade Alfredo sauce, and then we'll have a vegetable. So that's all from last week's meal plan. I'm going to make tomato soup in the Instant Pot. It's one of me and my kids' favorites, and it makes so much that we all will happily eat it for two nights, except for my husband. He doesn't absolutely love it, but sorry, Matt. We're going to have grilled cheese with that. We're going to probably have the tomato soup two nights, and then my husband wants to make Kraft macaroni and cheese from the pantry. And then we have an away game. So whether we eat out that night or do something quick, I'm not sure. But basketball nights are busy around here. 
we are going to make flatbread pizzas on Friday instead of getting carry out for pizza Friday. And we have spicy salami left over from Jimmy John's. That's kind of what inspired me to make pizzas at home is it's just like a pepperoni. It's a good topping. So we're gonna have flatbread pizzas with salad. We're gonna have cheese quesadillas and rice. We also have shredded chicken for anyone that wants that. I make it in bulk and freeze small portions. And we're gonna have spaghetti, green beans, and then I'm gonna take the Italian bread and I'm gonna make like um, a butter to put on it to make a crusty garlic bread. And then I'm also making dirt cake this week. I just have to find my Oreos from somewhere else. This is our meal plan for the week. If you wanna see any recipes that I'm using, you can find them linked below. If you want to see a sample of how I make homemade pizzas, it's basically a build your own bar and I either use naan or flatbread. You can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.